All right, y'all, so Trump has officially won and the narratives are going crazy, man. And this is a very, very special and important time in crypto because now is the time for the real bull run to actually start. It's about to get interesting because the narrative of crypto was actually very, very much closely tied to who was going to be president. Every, everyone was saying that, yo, once Trump hits it, once Trump gets in office, we're out of there. We're going to the next level. Like we, we've seen Elon Musk with Trump. So everybody's speculating that, yo, some big things is coming with Dogecoin, getting Doge. Yo, we see Bitcoin going crazy. Everyone is happy to see Trump. At least everybody on the financial side is happy to see Trump um, back in office because it means it means very, very big things for people who are in the finance sector, obviously, or people who actually care about making money and things like this. So that being said, this this new narrative, well, it's not really a new narrative at all, but the one that's really people are going strong with right now is this million dollar Bitcoin and why it makes sense. And this is, this for me, it definitely makes sense to me too. I, I won't lie, it definitely makes sense to me. We definitely will not be seeing it this bull run. At least I don't think like if something crazy like that was to happen this bull run, that would be insane. But it's definitely not going to happen this bull run. But Bitcoin is heading there for sure. And a lot of people sometimes ask me, what is the value in Bitcoin? Why is everyone so crazy about Bitcoin? If you don't know, like inflation is destroying the world. <laughs> inflation is destroying our finances, destroying everything right now. And the reason that that's happened is because the US dollar is really backed by nothing. It was once backed by gold, but at a certain point they just started printing money and, and it stopped being backed by anything. And they just said, hey, we got the big guns, we still got the big dollar. Any problems? Type, And, and that was basically the energy that they had with the world where it's like, the world is still respecting the dollar, even though it's not backed by gold like it once was. So that being said, because it's not actually backed by gold or backed by anything, it can be infinitely printed. And it's only a matter of time before it stops being respected as the, as a currency and people stop valuing it. People are gonna be like, the, well, countries are gonna be like, we don't want the US dollar, what are we gonna do with that? It's worthless. And that is, essentially we're slowly starting to get there. But the thing with Bitcoin and the problem that it solves is that it's a limited amount that will own, that will ever exist. You can't create more of it. No government can grab a hold of it and get to controlling it. And I think what made the narrative so strong for this bull run is when the, um, when everybody in office actually start campaigning for it. K Kamala actually said something about it at, at one point, like she was for it. Uh, Trump obviously said that, yo, we'll protect your Bitcoin. Your Bitcoin is safe with us. And then he even pledged a certain amount of um, Bitcoin to, for the US to hold a certain amount of Bitcoin or something like that. So that was a big deal for the crypto community also. Um, so this is why, as you can see, the, the pump is happening right now to Bitcoin because everyone is, is just excited and happy that, yo, like, with Trump in office, we're going to see some some major things happening in the crypto space. Now, this is a process. Obviously, the US dollar is not gonna fall overnight. It's going to take time. But the point is, this system, if you look in history, the system that we're currently using has failed many times before. It, it, it never has succeeded. This particular financial system has never succeeded before. And it always fails because of the same issue. Now, Bitcoin is the solution to that. Cryptocurrency is the solution to that. People are saying that there's other cryptocurrencies more qualified and things like that, which could be true, but that doesn't really matter. What matters is the most popular because Bitcoin, he, Bitcoin came first. Bitcoin is the most popular, the most known, the one that the governments are talking about. Bitcoin is the one that really matters right now. It, 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 it just does. Bitcoin is the one that matters. Um, yeah, there may be better technology and better things out there, but those are narratives sold to you by people who, who and, and to be fair, I'm not saying that these other cryptos won't go parabolic and won't do certain things and won't be impactful into the future and things like that. But as far as what can take Bitcoin's place, nothing. There's there's really nothing right now that can take Bitcoin's place and the problem that Bitcoin solved. There's nothing that can do it because Bitcoin has the name and the respect. Even when you're even when you're um trading, you're trading things um it, it, you, your value of it is like compared to Bitcoin. Everything is compared to Bitcoin in the whole crypto space. The market moves with Bitcoin, like Bitcoin is king. And I don't see anything flipping Bitcoin or taking over that um, at all. Now there are other cryptocurrencies that serves purposes and that that's gonna be used for certain things and that's better used for certain things, but the currency of the planet it's, it's everybody believes that that's going to be Bitcoin. Well, a lot of the a lot of the people believe that that's going to be Bitcoin, and I believe that 
popularity is what matters as well. I've seen so many times throughout my life where, yo, a, a smaller person can say something and it doesn't matter whatsoever. Somebody with a huge name says it, then everybody's like, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna follow that because it's the bigger name. So th that I think that that's pretty much the Bitcoin effect where Bitcoin is just too big. Everybody's going to trust in the biggest one, regardless of what technology comes to enhance all the other ones. The name that everyone's, the name that your grandma has probably heard of is Bitcoin. The name that your cousins, your aunties, your uncles, the everyone, the, the name that people have heard of is Bitcoin. So, and Bitcoin is what people trust. So imagine trying to explain, oh, granny, you're gonna have to buy things and not, not just Bitcoin, but there's this this XRP and then don't, don't forget about the, um, the Tron and don't forget about, you know, like that's not, that's, that's not how that's going to work. Um, essentially, essentially people know the name Bitcoin. There's already Bitcoin ATMs and things like that. Bitcoin is starting to take over the world. It solves, a, it solves a, a, a very, very big problem and it's very secure. It, it, it's very secure and essentially no one can control it. And, and you can see these, go the governments are already, excuse me, you can see the governments are already starting to buy up Bitcoin and have Bitcoin, Bitcoin holdings and stuff like that. For the people still doubting Bitcoin, think about the fact that the government is usually late to things. The government is is pretty late, late and they're trying to, they're, they're stacking as much as they can. So if the government is stacking it, why would they be doing that? Even though it can't be controlled and manipulated, if they hold a lot of the supply, that is a certain level of control. So you getting your hands on your Bitcoin, your fair share of Bitcoin before this happens and before whoever starts to, you know, make this the currency of the world and starts to make those moves to make that happen, you having yours and your bags already packed, the value of Bitcoin is gonna go up exponentially because it's not just going to be the US currency, it's going to be the currency everywhere on the planet. This is going to be the respected powerhouse currency that, that's free from manipulation, free from being controlled, or at least very hard to manipulate, very hard to, you know, like it's going to do what it was designed to do. And I feel like it's, it's gonna be important to dive into the design of Bitcoin and, and what it is designed to do and why it is an unstoppable force because I'm not gonna sit here and try to get down, break down all the, you know, technical side of Bitcoin without notes and stuff like that because it does a lot. It's designed to do a lot. Basically, it's just safe. It solves the problem. It, it can't be controlled or manipulated is it's very tough to to hack control or manipulate bitcoin and that is why it's safe people say that oh it's tied to nothing maybe not but it's trusted it is a trusted currency that governments are starting to hold themselves as well as the the community and the people who have been preaching about bitcoin and the technology and what it brings to the world for the longest so i mean let that sink in if you haven't already started collecting bitcoin I would I would say personally that's it's what I'm doing. It's it's what I believe is going to be the currency of the of the future. So it's I don't believe that there's any better investment than Bitcoin. You can speculate and argue about anything else, but you can't argue about but if you're in this space, the web three space, if you're talking about crypto, NFTs, any of that, you cannot argue that you know the name Bitcoin. Conversation over. Like, it's like you're gonna try to explain why this one's better and this is gonna be easier to explain it. I mean, you can try to argue whatever you wanna argue, but the name people know is the name, usually the name that, that wins out. It's, the, it's about the name. It's not even about the product. Like, it's a lot of products that, it's a lot of products that, that may fail when a nobody tries to, you know, pull it off and then some big giant gets a hold of it. And then they say, like so many times I've seen like songs made by nobodies uh, or people who aren't quite up there in status. So many times I've seen songs made by certain people and then some bigger influencer takes that song or gets the rights to that song, remakes the song themselves, and then the song blows up and goes viral and it's genius and all this stuff. That's just how it goes, the nature of the game. So this is the time to be making money. This is the time the opportunity is coming. Um, it's so much money to be made right now. So, so much money to be made right now. So. Don't sleep on this opportunity that's come because of this, this election. And, and like I said, the bull run is just now getting started, ladies and gentlemen. So make sure your bags are packed. It's about time for blast off. So that being said, let me know what you all are, are stacking in the comment section down below outside of Bitcoin. 
Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.